It is time for some alcoholic science. You see, in the past, I have taken a soda stream and I've put in inappropriate liquids like white wine and turned it into blue collar trash champagne. But I was taken by surprise at the sheer amount of carbon dioxide it seemed to dissolve into it. And so I thought it would be good to do an experiment. So I filled this bottle with water. It's not currently filled with water. It's currently filled with wine. Chenin Blanc wine. Uh, but I filled it with water uh, up to 500 millilitres, which is 583 grams, uh, given the weight of the plastic bottle and the 500 grams of water. And after carbonation up to the point this pressure release gave three fart noises, it had added three grams of carbon dioxide into the water, which is six grams per litre. Now I have my Chenin Blanc, and I have put it into this bottle, I've weighed it so it's the exact same quantity, and now I'm going to put it into the soda stream, and I am going to carbonate the wine, and we'll see how much weight goes into it in carbon dioxide. Are you ready? Let's go. See, by this time the water would have finished carbonating. The wine has not finished carbonating. And it's still not finished carbonating. This is a lot of carbon dioxide just going into this wine. I should mention that SodaStream doesn't normally recommend the carbonation of anything other than water in case it clogs up the safety valve and explodes. I feel I should mention that. And it's still... It's, that's the first vent. Second vent. Third vent. Okay. So I'm going to release the pressure now, which is going to possibly take a while. It depends if it foams up or not. And this would be a really good time to go down into the comments and make a guess at how much carbon dioxide this is absorbed in grams. It's a lot. I know that. It really does have a potent effect on me when I drink it. <gasps> the pressure has almost released. The experiment is almost complete. And then I get to drink it, which is a bad thing because it will give me terrible sleep after this. <gasps> it's ready. Here we go. So it was 583 grams before we started. The weight is now, have you made your guess? 589 grams. 589, which means it's taken twice as much carbon dioxide as water, um, which is about 12 grams per litre of carbon dioxide. And that means it's extremely... Oh, you can hear it. <gasps> Super fizzy. So fizzy that it just comes straight out as soon as it goes into the glass. And you can't drink it straight from the bottle or it just explodes in your mouth. It's super fizzy. It's better than champagne, quite frankly. But don't tell the French that. Mm. That is so good. But so much carbon dioxide, that can't be good for you. But who cares? It has a potent effect. So the answer is that uh, wine can absorb twice as much carbon dioxide as just chilled water. This was chilled wine, by the way. Chilled water, chilled wine, soda stream, super carbon dioxide, carbonation.